what? <laughs> so don't say anything you don't want out there. Got I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> Before this gets crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm going to screen share so you can look at your warm up in your workout. Let me know how this goes. Here, there, share. You guys see that? Ooh, wow. Oh, so this is, <laughs> this is your workout today. Um, the question of the day comes from uh, Derek, and he wanted to know, when you're putting your food on a plate, at a picnic or otherwise, I suppose, do you separate, do you put everything together or it doesn't matter? Your food. That's the question of the day. And we can go through that as we're warming up. Your warm up today, everything today in today's workout is time based. So there's gonna be a lot of clock involvement. The first part, your warm up is 30 seconds at each station for three sets. So it's just five minutes of sort of stretching and warming up your core. The first thing for the first 30 seconds, you're gonna be doing alternating Samson lunges. We'll do those as reverse lunges and then alternating Cossack squats, stretching out your lower body a little bit. Um, and then you've got dead bugs at the end of it. So we'll go through those three different movements three times, 30 seconds at each station. And while we're doing that, I'll set your clock here and keep you guys on task. And then after that, we'll stretch it out a little bit more. Got it? Yes, ma'am. All right. So for the alternating Samson lesson, you're gonna have your fingers interlaced Hands up overhead, you're gonna lunge back and a nice hip flexor stretch, you can side bend, and then you'll switch to the other side, lunge back, side bend, nice hip flexor stretch on the opposite side. For your Kazakh squats, if you want, you can do these prisoner style. I like that, it stretches out your chest. So hands interlaced behind your head, wide stance with your feet, and then you're going over to one side and going over to the other side, stretching out your inner thigh, warming up your legs a little bit more. And then for your dead bugs, you're on the floor, sort of in this dead bug position. So your knees are bent, your arms are up. And then from there, opposite arm and opposite leg reach out. And then you're coming back. You should feel that isometric core engagement the whole time. So push that lower back into the floor and hold that as you move. Comprende? Hey. <laughs> All right. So we'll start with those uh, Samson lunges, alternating Samson lunges. I've got your clock right here. I'll yell it out when you're halfway through and when we're switching. Samson lunges, Kazakh squats, and then dead bugs. We're going three times through three different movements. Morning. Ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's do it. Samson lunges. Starting in three, two, one, and we go. Arms overhead, interlace your fingers, push up, stretch so that upper back a little bit. There you go. Push that hip forward so you get a little stretch through your hip flexor. We've got 10 more seconds here, and then we're going to go into your Kazakh squats your lateral lunges, three, two, one, wide stance. Again, you can have your hands behind your head to open up your chest, and then you'll lunge to one side, lunge to the other side. Try to get as much range of motion as you can here. So sit down into that hip, try to get that hip crease below parallel, push, and then switch to the other side. 10 more seconds. Your last seconds is going to be dead bugs. Three, two, one, and you're down on your back. Put that lower back into the floor. Come to your dead bug position. And alternate. Keep that corner tight. George. Come on, George, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys are all on the floor. Prime opportunity to kiss your faces. Three, two.
two, one, back to the top. Samson lunge. Stretch it out. Wake up. Good. Push those hands up to the ceiling. Extend. Reach. Halfway. <laughs> Five seconds. Going on to Kazakh squats and go. Wide stance, prisoner Kazakhs. Stay in that heel. Kazakhs. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's the real way to do them. <laughs> Gonna stretch through that inner thigh. It has genie Kazakh squats. A genie. <laughs> Three, two, one, dead bugs on your back. Push that lower back down. Keep your shoulder blades up off of the floor. <laughs> we'll see if any trolls hijack our Zoom conference today. That's a thing in the news. <laughs> 10 seconds. You guys have one more round of your warm up coming up. Three, two, one, back to your Samson lunges. Nice job, guys. Nice job, George. Keep it up. Look at their faces. In 10 seconds, guys. Moving on to your Cossacks next. Lateral lunges, two, one, wide stance with your feet, sit into the hips, get a little lower each rep. <laughs> I feel like, Gabe, you need one of those big hats. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds. Last set of dead bugs coming up. Three, two, one, back on the floor. Dead bugs, push that lower back into the mat. Keep your shoulder blades up. Try to fully extend your elbow as you reach up overhead. Make a nice diagonal line. 15 more seconds. And three, Two, one, and done. Very good. Nice warm up, guys. Very good. Let's just get your feet. Stand on up. Feet in your squat stance. Shoulder width apart. You can reach down and grab your toes and pull yourself down to the bottom of your squat using your elbows to push your knees out. Little bootstrap here. Try to save your heels and pull your chest up against your toes. And then from here, release your right hand, rotate up to the ceiling as best you can. Get a little rotation at the bottom of your squat. And then switch to the other side, hang on to your right toe, reach up to the left. Again, a little rotation. Keep pushing those knees out. And then grab both toes, reach your hips up, straighten out your legs. And let's do that one more time. Get a little bit lower at the bottom of your squat, pushing your knees out, staying in your heels, pulling your chest up. And we rotate one side and the other side. Hang on to your toes, straighten out your legs, and then slowly, one by one, stand on up so you don't get dizzy. And then we'll go into a little inchworm. Sumo stance, wide stance with your hips. Hinge back, walk yourself out to the top of your push-up. Then you lower yourself down, peel your chest up. Get a little stretch through your lower back in this extension position. Then grab your toe, walk yourself in 
to your feet. Come to stand. Do that four more times. Four more inchworms with that extension at the end. Let's start with Kiara. Question of the day, Kiara. How do you like your plate situated at a picnic? All together. Everything together. Smush it all together. Chris, what about you? Um, what, I just put it all in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as there's space on the, on the uh, plate, you're good to go. Yeah, I divide it, honestly. Divide what? It. I do divide it. You do? I do. Okay. Yeah. You can't have like what your, your rib touching. Cold um, potato salad on top of ribs. Mm -hmm. That would be weird. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I hear that. Kiara is okay with it though. I don't think you did five names. Wait a minute. Isn't the question plates with, di with dividers or not? Or do I? I thought it was how do you divide your food on the plate, or do you, or does it not matter? It's divided. <laughs> it's divided? Mm -hmm. Inchworms. Gabe, what about you? Uh, depends on food, but in general, I try to keep it separate. I don't <laughs> yeah. like how food interacts with one another. Mm -hmm. There's I a question Science. Social distancing. That's right. <laughs> what about Rad? Team Rad. Uh, I will take a coleslaw potato salad mac and cheese cheeseburger. Ooh. Oh. So just pile it on. Put it all together. Yeah. You gonna use a real bun? No, probably lettuce wrap. <laughs> 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 so guys, did you did you see that news report that people were trolling on Zoom conference meetings? Oh, they <laughs> are. <laughs> yeah. They would have a blast with ours. Well, actually, we do ours through Teams. <laughs> That's Disney. Oh, oh yeah. Group. If you if you happen to see somebody pop up that you have no idea who they are, <laughs> say hi and welcome them. That would be awesome. Yeah. Hi, you want to join? Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I don't think it would matter for us, but I'm sure there's other people that are more important. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's move on to uh, your strength component, and I'm going to share my screen again. So here we are. Share. So this is your strength right here. Again, it's timed. So this time it's every 90 seconds and we're going through this four times. So it's 18 minutes total. Your first 90 seconds, first minute and a half, you're doing eight to 10 dumbbell goblet, rear foot elevated split squats on one side. The tempo is two zero X one. So slow controlled descent there. At a minute and a half, you'll move on to 12 to 16 alternating single arm gorilla rows. So that's six to eight each side, 12 to 16 total. Uh, at the three minute mark, you'll do a goblet wall sit with a pulse and you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell for all of these things. All right, so three different stations, every 90 seconds, every minute and a half, we're moving to the next station. So the idea here is that you should be finishing up the work in probably under 60 seconds so that you have a little bit of transition time to your next station before that time starts. Okay. Uh, and that goblet wall sit, I don't know if I mentioned this, but that's 45 seconds in duration that you're holding that position. So let's talk about what that looks like. So the first thing is going to be your rear foot elevated split squat. So you can use a bench for this if you have it, which I think some of you guys do. You'll have your bench. You're going to hold your dumbbell or your kettlebell goblet style to your chest. These can be done unweighted as well. You'll take three paces out, put your foot, your back foot on the bench, and then two seconds, one, two, no pause, and stand up. All right, so one, two, no pause, and stand. You're doing eight to 10 of them with one foot. 
you're gonna switch. So the first round will be your left foot, your second round will be your right foot, and then left and right, so you're balanced by the end of it, all right? So you're not doing both legs within 90 seconds. You're gonna alternate each set. That's the first movement. If you don't have a bench, you'll do a split squat. So no bench required, you'll come to the top of your lunge position, and you'll come down one, two, touch, and stand. So you'll do a, a split squat, kind of goblet style there, instead of having your back foot elevated. That's one. The second thing, the uh, alternating gorilla rows. This one works well with a kettlebell. It's a row. We'll use one kettlebell. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. You're gonna come down, back is nice and flat. You're gonna to row to your chest, and then back down, switch arms, pull to your chest. So you're pulling your elbow back, keeping your back, make sure you're not pulling with your lower back. Your back should be flat, your weight should be your heels as you do those alternating rows, okay? That's gonna be 12 to 16 of those. The last thing, I'm gonna come over to my wall. This is 45 seconds of a wall sit with a pulse. So I come down here, hanging onto my kettlebell and my dumbbell. The pulse part is gonna be bringing that kettlebell out and back in. Out and back in while you're holding the bottom of your wall sit. That was 45 seconds. Clear? Questions? So for this one, I'm going to put you guys all on mute so you can play your own music. And so that we don't have any of Chris's obscenities on record. <laughs> um, and then I've got your clock here. I'll keep calling out your timestamps. Oh, there we go. I muted myself. What a dummy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Are you guys all set? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Starting with uh, eight to 10 of those rear foot elevated split squats. Good, Gabe's good, Chris is good, Kiara's good, Brad's good. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice and slow and controlled. Two seconds on the way down. Eight to 10 reps with that leg. Look at that, everybody's sharing one bench, how nice. <laughs> Try to get that hip crease below the top of your knee. Keep your weight in your front heel. There you go. Sit your hip back to your bench. Chris, that might work, but if you just walk a little bit farther forward. A little farther forward with your right foot. Yeah. and then push your hips back towards your couch. That's better, so you stay in that right heel. All right, moving on to your alternating gorilla rows in 20 seconds. <clears throat> back flat, chest up, 10 seconds. Three, 
two, one, and go. Good, pull. Keep that upper back nice and flat. You guys are doing 12 to 16 total, 12 to 16 total. Good job, 45 seconds of rest. Your next station is going to be your pulsing wall sit for 45 seconds. So you can hold a dumbbell or a kettlebell to your chest, find an empty spot against a wall. We're going in 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, hold. All the way down to the bottom, pushing those knees out, weights in your heels, chest is up, and then bring that kettlebell or dumbbell out and then back in. Yeah, med ball works well for this as well. Good. Nice job, guys. Breathe, hold. So you can get yourself a little bit lower in your squat. Almost there guys, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, one round in, three to go. Moving back to your rear foot elevated split squats. This time you're doing eight to 10 with the other side. Make sure these are nice and slow and controlled. So two seconds on the way down. Three paces away from your object that you're putting your back foot on. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good, slower Gabe, two seconds on the way down. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, then up. One, two, up. There you go, focus on your balance, control. There you go, Chris. Back to your gorilla rows in 40 seconds. Here we go guys, 15 seconds. Make sure your chest keeps facing the floor and you're pulling into your belly. Five, three, two, one, go. 12 to 16. Make yourself like a little gorilla. They do these all the time in the wild. Good job, guys.
There you go, Chris. Good stuff. Good, back to your wall in 45 seconds. Ten seconds. Pulsing wall sit. In three, two, one, hold. Forty five seconds. Hold. Good. Keep your weight in those heels. Good job, guys. Keep your chest upright. There you go. Keep holding. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. There you go, nice job. Two rounds in, two to go, two more sets. Back to your split squats. 30 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, go ahead. This is your third set, should be back to that first leg. One, two, nothing, up. One, two, pause, up. Good job, guys. Nice job, Agnes. Nice work, Kiara. There you go. All right, 30 seconds and you're back to your gorilla rows. Ten seconds. Get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, row. Alternating gorilla rows. Good, push your feet into the floor, pull. Good job, guys. Chest is up, back's nice and flat. There you go, Chris. Good job. Wall sit.
I bet a shake weight would be good for this exercise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would be tough. 10 seconds. You got a 45 second hold coming up in three, two, one. Get to the bottom of that squat. Push that lower back into that surface. Chest is up, shoulders are back. Good job, guys. See if you can get your hip crease below the top of your knee. Good job. Weight staying into your heels. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, last set. Last one coming up. Back to your uh, split squats. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and go ahead. Nice job, guys. Here you go, Gabe. Gorilla Rose coming up next. Two more stations. All right, here we go. In 10. Last set of gorilla rows. Three, two, one, and go. Chris, did you do your gorilla rows? Yeah, there you go. Good, pull all the way up to your chest, guys. Nice job, Chris. There you go. Awesome. Good. One more wall sit. One more 45 second wall sit coming up in 25 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, hold. Get to the bottom of that squat and pulse. Bring that object out and in.
Nice work, guys. Last hold. Last 45 seconds. Fifteen seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Done with that. Nice job. You guys all warmed up now? What? <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, while you're recovering, get some water. Uh, this is your next piece. I'm going to share my screen again. Last piece is more uh, time based stuff. So. We're gonna do three rounds of three minutes of work and three minutes of rest. So it's a one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. Plenty of rest, so the objective is to go pretty quickly, go hard during your three minutes of work and try and stay consistent across your three rounds. All right, so three rounds, three minutes of work, three minutes of rest. You've got eight single arm front squats, eight single arm push press, 20 alternating bicycle crunches. Then you switch to the other arm. You do eight single arm front squats, eight single arm push press, and then 20 alternating low box runner. So it's eight, eight, 20, eight, eight, 20. All right. What the heck is all of this stuff? So we'll go back here. So the first thing, dumbbell or a kettlebell will work for this. So if I'm using a dumbbell, the single arm front squats with my right side, get you guys up a little bit. So my elbow is up and this is an active front rack position. Don't just like lay the dumbbell or the kettlebell on your shoulder. Keep your elbow up, the back of the dumbbell can be sitting on your shoulder and you'll do eight front squats. Hip crease below parallel and stand. From there, eight push press, so dip, drive with that same arm. So with my right arm, again, I'm dipping and driving and doing eight reps overhead. Then I come down to the floor and I'm going to do 20 alternating bicycle crunches, which are from the floor, pushing your lower back in, hands behind your head, shoulders up, and then you're gonna bring your knee to your elbow and alternate. 20 total of those. Then you do that same thing on your left side. So you'll do eight front squats on my left side, front squats, eight push press, dip drive on my left side, and then 20 low box runners. So low box runners, you can use a little shoe box, you could use um, a medicine ball, which I have here. A low box, and you're gonna run. So foot on top. And while you're doing that, make sure that you're also moving your arms in sequence. Here, 20 alternating. All right, eight, eight, 20 bicycle crunches, eight, eight, 20 low box runners, three minute AMRAP, and then you rest for three minutes. Can you do the front squat one more time? Yes. So I have a dumbbell or a kettlebell. What do you have, a dumbbell? I have both. You have both? Okay. I'll, be, I'll use a dumbbell. Okay. That works better. So on your shoulder here, so it's like this nice front rack position. Yeah. Sit down and stand. So it's a squat with okay. the dumbbell on one side. Okay. okay. Then the push press is a little dip. Your score is going to be your total rounds and reps. 
and you're going to start from the top of each round every time. So for example, in my first round, if I get three rounds plus three reps, in my second one, I'm starting from the top again and I get three rounds and one rep, I now have six rounds and three reps. So every time you finish and you have that three minute break, write down your total rounds and reps that you were able to complete in your three minutes. At the end, we'll add them together and we'll get your total rounds and reps that you completed throughout the workout. Got it? Got it. Awesome. Let me change your interval to three minutes. You guys can set up your music. I'm gonna mute you. Beautiful. Set up, interval. Tres minutos, done. Save. Yeah. All right. You guys all have everything you need. It's gonna start with the right side, single arm front squats, eight of them. Then you'll do eight push press on that same arm, 20 bicycle crunches, switch to the other arm, eight, eight, and then 20 low box runners. Everybody ready? Good, awesome. And we're going in three, two, one, work. Three minutes of work. Good front squats, guys. Eight reps total. Make sure you're getting full range of motion each time. Hip crease below the top of your knee. Eight push press dip drive. Full extension overhead and then 20 bicycle crunches, 20 total. Good job guys, then we switch to the other arm. There you go Chris, good work. Here you go, Gabe. Nice job, Kiara. Here you go, Ryan. Nice job, Agnes. Let's go, Domingo. There you go. You got 20 low box runners after you do those push presses. Guys are halfway through your first three minutes. Back to the top again with your front squats. One minute left. Nice job, Chris. There you go, Kiara. 20 bicycle crunches after those push press. Nice job, Agnes. Keep moving, guys. 15 seconds to go. Three, 
two, one, and rest. Three minutes of rest. Good job. Write down your scores for your first one. Three minutes of rest and then you'll do it again. If you want for this second round, you can start with your opposite arm so you're balancing yourself out. So if you didn't finish up two rounds, two full rounds, then maybe switch to the other side and start with that one so you're balanced. Rest, try and walk around. You've got a minute and a half to rest. And then we'll do it all over again. Thirty seconds. Try to do better your second set than you did your first. Now that you're warmed up. Fifteen seconds. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Three minutes of work. Eight single arm front squats. Eight single arm push press. Dip drive. There you go. Then 20 alternating bicycle crunches. Go, 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 go. Good job, guys. Bring those knees to your elbows. Keep your chest up. Then we'll switch to the other side. Eight front squats with the other arm. Nice work, guys. You are one minute in, two minutes to go. Good, dip drive, lock out overhead. Good guys, and 20 low box runners. Move your arms and your legs. Good, Kiara, good work. Halfway, 90 seconds. There you go, Chris. Come on, Gabe. There you go, Domingo.
One more minute. Nice job, Agnes. There you go, Kiara, good work. There we go, Gabe. Nice job, Ryan. Thirty seconds left. Move. Keep pushing. There you go, Agnes. Good job. Finishing up her second round. Ten seconds, guys. Come on, Kiara. In three, two, one, rest. Woo, good job. Two down, one to go. Awesome work. You guys all look like you moved faster in that second round. Great job. One more to go, guys, one more. Try and walk around, get your heart rate down. Everyone come up to the screen and give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna screenshot. While, while we're waiting. Thumbs up. Beautiful. <laughs> As you were. Beautiful. All right, guys, you got one more interval, one more three minutes of work. Shake out those legs. <laughs> you all right, Gabe? <laughs> Try and get two rounds this time. Okay, 30 seconds. Come on, George. 10 seconds. Last one. In three, two, one, front squats. Eight reps. Good job. Last three minutes, guys. This is your last one. Best one yet. Eight push press, dip drive. Twenty bicycle crunches down to the floor. Nice, Chris. Eight front squats, eight push press. And 20 low box runners. 
You guys are killing it. You're one minute in. Back to the top. Nice job, Chris. Here we go, Gabe. There you go, Kiara. Stay in those heels, guys. 90 seconds, halfway. There you go, Domingo. Nice, Kiara. There you go. Get back to that dumbbell. One minute to go. There you go, Ryan. Nice job. 45 seconds, guys. Come on, Agnes. There you go, Gabe. Good job. Home stretch, guys. 15 seconds to go. 10. Three, two, one, time. Woo! Great job. I think you guys are all holding out in that first round. <laughs> nice job, guys. Great job. So write down your score for your last one, and then you guys can report your total rounds and reps to me. How was that? You guys feel good? I'll take Did it. We have enough reps? What? Did we have enough reps to make a round? Do we add the round or no? Just like total seven. No, just, just do the total rounds and reps. Okay. So, yeah. Gabe, what's yours? Six. Six rounds? Yeah. Even? Yeah. So you did two every time? Well, I did 10 less in one and 10 more in the other. So oh. in the last round, I did uh, two and 10. And the, uh, in round two, I did, uh, was missing 10. Uh, Got it. Kiara, what'd you get? Five and eighty-six. There you go. Chris. 288. What? 288. How many rounds did you complete? Oh, uh, uh, three. three. Oh, two and a half, sorry. And then how many, full, how many repetitions? 288. Okay. Good job. Ryan. Oh, 117. What? Four rounds, 117. Four and 117. Good job. Domingo. Uh, 457. There you go. Agnes. Uh, she got five and 70. Awesome. Great job, guys. Keep it up.